Hi guys, Sam Chalice, tech editor of Cyclist here. I'm back in my shed doing another one of my tech presentation videos, which it's been ages since I've done one, but I've been kept very busy writing lots of lovely words for Cyclist Magazine, which is a great magazine, you should go and buy one right now. I've got an opportunity to put together a nice video on something cool, I hope you won't be bored. You won't be bored, it's really good. It's Campagnolo's new Eckhart group set, crank set there. It's one by, it's gravel specific, and it's got 13 speeds. 13, your lovely sprockets. It's one more than any of its main competitors. It looks cool. Let's get into it. Right, to give you some background, Eckhart was born on Mount Eckhart, which is a rather large hillock just north of Campagnolo's Vicenza HQ in Italy. So you've got this mountain, very few paved roads on it, but guys and girls riding around with Campagnolo equipped bikes all over it for decades, the brand says. So it's taken all of that experience, all that feedback it's gained from those riders and mushed it together with the latest group set technology to produce this new series of specific components. So one of the headline stats of the new group set is it's the lightest of its kind available. Lightest one by gravel group set coming in at 2,385 grams. If you crunch some numbers, it's about 300 grams lighter than, than something modern from Shimano or SRAM, which is pretty substantial actually. On top of that, it's 1,500 quid, which is pretty damn good for Campagnolo parts, I'd have said. So straight off the bat, it's looking good. Let's dive in to a few of the nerdier details on some of the specific products. I mean, I say nerdy, I'll keep it light. I don't want you falling asleep in your, in your breakfast cereal while watching this video. <laughs> um, please tell me I'm not the only one that watches cycling videos with a breakfast cereal. Uh, anyway, if you want more information than you can possibly handle on this group set, I wrote a good launch article on it. I mean, it's not as good as James Wang's over at Cycling Tips. That's like 4,000 words. But mine's pretty good. It's on cyclist.co.uk. Check it out. Let's move on to some cool components. First up, the crank set, the jewel of any group set. And this one is a particularly fine jewel in all its glossy carbon fiber unidirectional glory. Campagnolo says that this finish, although it's beautiful, is also hard wearing because it comes out of the mold like this. There's no polishing, there's no finishing required, and as such, should be really resistant against scratches, impacts, chips, that sort of thing. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this finish holds up because I love shiny components, and if it stays all beautiful, then I'll be a happy boy. Then we go from the crank set to what it threads through, or what it slots through, this bad boy, looking very good, most exciting thing for me really. I'm only joking, it's not, not exciting. But it's interesting because it's a new standard from Campagnolo. I know what you're thinking, new stand, another new bottom bracket standard and yet it's not backwards compatible either, but this one shows promise, I like it. It's called ProTech. Now, key bits of it are this sleeve here and there's some machining inside the hub shells. I mean, you won't be able to see the machining, you just have to take my word for it. And then with this clever sleeve cover on the external side of the bottom bracket bearings, it all slots together and forms this, this sealed unit. The sealed unit should protect against mud, water, dirt ingress a lot better, which anything that tries to do that is a good thing in my book because servicing bearings is a bull leg but at the same time, grindy rough bearings are horrible. So anything that's able to preserve lovely smooth running bearings is a great idea and I want to like it. So I hope it stands up to some regular use. Now onto one of the more unique aspects of the group set. It is this pile of sprockets here, a veritable pile, look at that. What a block. Well, in fact, it's two, two blocks. You've got this little nub in here which is the smallest four gears machined from one bit of aluminium. And you've got this big nub in here, the biggest nine gears machined from one bit of aluminium, which is actually pretty beautiful. It's a serious bit of engineering. The three cassette ratios it comes in are 936, yes, 9, 942, and 1044, which sensibly the sprockets are arranged such that there's smaller jumps at the bottom end where you're going faster and more likely to be sensitive to changes in cadence. And then when you're going uphill, 
and you need big gears quickly or small gears quickly, low gears quickly, like me, I panic. It's got big jumps between the bigger gears so you can get yourself out of trouble quickly. Now you did hear me right, I said nine, nine tooth twice. That's because there was a nine tooth and a 10 tooth sprocket on this set. To allow that to happen, Campagnolo have invented a new free hub standard called N3W, which stands for next three ways or something cool. For the crux of this new standard is that it's 4.4 millimeters shorter than their old free hub with the same ish spline pattern. So the nine and the 10 tooth sprocket can project off the end of the free hub, but still keep the same overall hub spacing, which is a clever bit of design. And rather tellingly, they've made it backwards compatible to all for 10, 11, 12 speed company other group sets. And also said that they'll adopt the N3W free hub across all their wheel sets going forward. So 13 speed on the road is gonna be a thing very soon, which means you'll have 26 gears. That's, I, well, that's too many but anyway onward next up is the thing that lets you access all those lovely sprockets it's the rear derailleur now a bit of a step change from something from campagnolo it's not sculpted bits of carbon fiber it's a bit more utilitarian there's nicely machined bits of metal which trades a little bit in weight it's a bit heavier but should be more robust i think it's a sensible trade to make and plus there's a big boy clutch on that thing. I mean, you're not losing your chain. It's gonna keep that very stable, which is another good move. It's a sensible piece of design and a necessary piece of design from Campagnolo at a crucial part of the group set. Now it's on to one of the more controversial aspects of the group set. It's the shift lever. Controversial you say? That's totally normal, isn't it? Well, thankfully, all of this bit is. They've kept the double curve architecture of the lever, which is great because it's poetically comfortable. They've kept the upshift paddle as is, but then if you turn around, <gasps> ooh, downshift paddle, completely different. Gone to this sort of C shape, appropriately. Now you've got this platform here and then a lower platform here. So you've got two different thumb positions depending on whether you're shifting from the hoods or shifting from the drops. I've tried this a little bit. God, I, need, I need to make my mind up on it. I'm not sold on it at the moment. Shifting from the hoods, you do a lot of shifting from the hoods. It's not quite as comfortable. There's less surface area here. This angle's a little too sharp for me, my sensitive thumbs. Whereas shifting from the drops, oh God, I'm poking myself in the face. Very comfortable. So that, that little paddle that, the paddle that extends down, mm, that's really good. So I need to ride more. I'm gonna put this on a bike soon and I'll ride it around and I'll pen some final definitive words on the success of this little button very soon. So that aside, there's been some other less important, less interesting changes. I mean, the chain's thinner for one. Oh, good thing though, it's now available with a quick link, which is a win for practicality. Finally, Campagnolo's done a, an official quick link. So I'm gonna put this all on a bike. I'm gonna ride it around. I'm gonna pen some lovely words for cyclist.co.uk uh, on my set opinion and that funny sh th thumb shift button. We'll see about that. In the meantime, I promise I'll be back sometime soon to do another tech video. So please make sure you do all you need to do to make sure you don't miss it. Like subscribe, click bell icons, Give me a thumbs up for this video. Give me a thumbs down for this video if you think I'm a knob. I mean, I'll probably get fired, but that's on you. <laughs> Just joking. Peace out.